How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flint's Place, and today we're starting a brand new series playing Silver Chains, a uh, horror game that's available over on GOG, and I'd like to thank GOG.com for the uh, access to the game. Typically, when it comes to games, I try not to read too much into them. I do know it starts with a car crash, which there's a lot of games that start with car crashes. God, and I crashed into a tree. Ooh, we have voice acting and everything. Oh, wow. He sure did crash into a tree and apparently knocked down multiple trees. And where was he driving? I, ooh, ooh, can I get behind here? No, I can't. All right. I'll stop trying to break the game. But, oh, okay. Shift runs. Awesome. Or it just zooms in slightly. And our character has amnesia. I'm so close. Maybe there's someone who can help me. Uh, a lot of games start with that whole character doesn't know where he is. Character is involved in a car crash. And then it's revealed that the character has died in said car crash. Ooh, hello. I see you, friend. Maybe. Chilling up there. So, oh, you were very tall, it looked like. Almost the size of the entire window. That, that's that's pretty tall in my book. Well, actually, it depends on the size of the windows, actually. Okay, well, wait, we can judge that. We can figure it out. If we go up alongside this window, we can see. Yeah, I mean, we only came up to there. Oh. Oh, we passed out. Well, that was an intro. I've played a lot of games that start like that. Oh, your character got involved in an accident. And now your character is in front of a house or inside of a house or somewhere near the vicinity of a house. I hear whispers in my ear. Whispering sweet, sweet nothings. Oh. That was a fast acting fire. Gonna be honest. Uh... I'm guessing no. we're Peter. No. No, no. Ah, uh, now we're inside. How did I get here? The last thing I remember is an accident in this house, but I passed out in the backyard. How did I get here? I should look around. Ooh. Oh, very, very nice looking uh, detail here. Uh, the pictures are a little blurry. I'm guessing they're supposed to be blurry. But, gotta be honest, the game actually... Oh, I have feetsies! Oh, yeah! Awesome. I love games that show the actual character model. Oh! Oh, boy. Yeah, that's just a bunch of... That's a bunch of baby dolls. E. Yeah, that's a that's a heaping help in a baby doll uh, thumbnail bait right there, if you ask me. Uh, is this a... This room is completely black. Oh. Okay, I don't know what that room's about, but I'm sure I'll find out later on in, in life. Can I open up this door? Yes, I can. And we have found the bathroom, including a ketchup-soaked rag, it looks like. And a bathtub. Ooh, does it have a shower? No, it's just a bathtub. Okay. I don't know. I prefer showers to baths. I'm just, just stating my, my opinion on the subject matter. Hide. Oh, we're going to be hidey boys now. Okay, all right. I can, I can dig this. I can, I can inspect. The note on the mirror. The key in the library. Hmm. What could be there? I need a key. Probably the key for that. I'm gonna assume. There are some creaking sounds going on here, if you ask me. Take. Uh, October 31st. Oh, Halloween. 1900. I'm left completely alone. All the maids resigned out of fear for their lives. I can't blame them. I should run away too. If I could. But what's done is done. I cannot hide. I cannot sleep. I hear them laughing and talking all the time and this demonic giggling. It's driving me crazy. I know there is only one way to get rid of all of this. This is my last entry. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, cool. I can actually read it that way, too. Jesus uh, I got something, too. What happened here? I have a locket. A locket with the photos inside. There's me and some woman whose face I cannot recognize. Can I open the locket? Is it? I'm thinking it's. Oh, never mind. I was thinking it was like Resident Evil. And we have scissors. Ladies and gentlemen, these are scissors. I think I can cut the rope. Oh, I love that game. Nom Nom is awesome. It's so cute. It's so what? dark in here. Yep, nope, alright. I guess I'm not going there. That's for sure. I can't even try to open that door. That's 
hold up. That's weird. Now, why is it? Okay. Sure. We got that. Well, we have the baby room. Oh. Oh, cool. I have a lamp now. That door I came and open. Just, okay. I was thinking that was thunder. But nope, that's not, that's a diary. How do I, how does it say I can open the lamp now? T. T for, T for lamp. I would say T for torch, but it's not really a torch. It's definitely a lamp. Or a lantern of some sort. Alright. So there's a key in the library we gotta get. There's this hallway, which we could not enter before because it was too dark. So spoopy. And I can crouch, but it, okay, cool. I can crouch, but I can't actually crouch through there. I have to hit E. That seems weird. Also, did the game just freeze or something? No, oh, oh, oh okay. No, it's, I had to hold the arrow key. That, that was weird. All right, well, we're through here. Oh, that's a hole in the ground there. Probably I don't want to go check that out. I can't go that way. I, I'm going to be honest. It seems like I could drop down. Is anybody here? The house seems abandoned, but the lights are on. Maybe someone is here. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's murderizing. Hello, ball. Just going to... I need a key for this. Can't open that. Can't even try to open this door, apparently. We have here a lot of nothing. I hear creaking sounds. Is it? Oh, the ball's going crazy over there. Okay. That's locked. That's definitely locked. Hey. Oh, Jesus. What was that? Thank you, GOG, for the loud noise telling me an achievement was unlocked. Okay, I gotta see if I can turn that off. I've never used the GOG Galaxy before. And right off the bat, not a fan of that mad sound. Alright. September 5th, 1900. My maids heard me screaming and called Dr. Morgan after the incident, without my knowledge. Maybe they did the right thing, but I'm sure I heard that terrifying voice. I tried to explain it to the doctor, but he was convinced that it was a side effect of my medication. He said it may have caused hallucinations because I misused it. So I was prescribed a new medication and Dr. Morgan asked our new nanny to make sure I take it correctly. Maybe it was a hallucination after all. It's oh, I don't think so. The person who wrote this diary was troubled with hallucinations. I mean, that's exactly what the diary note said, so yes. The freak. Can we get OSHA? Can we get OSHA in here on this one? Nothing in here to check out. Let's see. Do we have... That thing is still sparking. Alright. Go through this door. Hello? No? Let's see, let's... Let's... Let's play. That's... Yeah, that's what I'm hosting right now. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Timmy's Let's Play. Because I discovered that the name of the, the little boy is Timmy, apparently. Well, that's locked, and that has a lock to it. So. Inspect. Oh, I hear a child crying. Oh, I hear a child crying. Oh, hey, George is here. How you doing, Georgie? I kind of expected that. I, you're gonna put a, a paper doll there. You're uh, a paper thing like that. Oh, I unfolded it. Cool. Important. Don't forget to lock the back stairs door and leave the key in the utility room. Children are not allowed to play in the kitchen. Okay, so. Oh, that's cool. That it. Can you stop with this music thing? So. That's cool that it still has, oh, the water all drained. That's kind of weird. Hello, Thunder. So it keeps it here. Doesn't put it back into the little boat shape. That's nice. All right, so the utility room has the key. Children are not allowed to play in the kitchen. Come in. Okay. Oh, okay, or not. 
Oh, this is an actual letter. Hey, I got a key. Neat. Unlock the door, get on the floor. We have... Oh, okay, we have this, we can push it. We can push it real good. How far do I need to push it? Why did I do that? Oh, there's a, oh, there's a hole. Okay, we climbed the hole. Boosh. Let's hop on I can't in. Can't reach it. I need something to reach for the key. Oh, I don't climb into it. I just gotcha. I don't actually climb it. I uh, just instead look into it. I need something long with like a hook, probably. Reach it? That's huh. Can I like a fire poker thing maybe? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> clever, clever, clever. I hear something too, like hanging. Oh, something gonna Oh, I need to keep it in the center. Oh, that's kinda cool. I wasn't really expecting quick time events. Neat. Also, I mean, I love our disembodied hand that was somehow controlling that, but that was actually like a really interesting uh, use of a quick time event. Unlock that, go through the door. Look at me. So good at puzzles. I'm not. Just wait until the next series. You'll see. Really derped it up. I actually recorded two episodes of it already, uh, but this was given to me by GOG, so I was like, eh, you know, we'll, we'll delay that series for a little bit. Oh, okay. Alrighty, well, I guess we're gonna go with the random screaming sounds now. That's the thing that's gonna happen from, from this game. Children are not allowed to play in the kitchen. August 21st, 1900. My beloved Harold died yesterday. Okay. <laughs> uh, Looks like this woman started to have problems after her husband's death. Yeah. Which maybe that explains why she was on medication. Or many various other things. I am a little concerned though. The game did say I could hide. Which I have not had to use that yet. Is there anything over here? No. That door definitely won't open. Oh, anything over here? There's an interesting looking pot there that is the only one there that's like that. Can I open this up? Yes, I can. Can. Where am I now? Why is the background music like picking up a little bit? It, it's it sounds like we might be. Hello. Oh, hello. Something up here. Oh, can't fall. There's really no way to fall. Like basically, if you can't go away, the game just won't let you do it. Can't go through that door. So like the only option we have left is this door here. Uh, oh, hello, creepy child. She's looking for you. Okay. Mommy is very mad at you. That's not good, then. Can I? The warning, I met someone in the dining room. It was a little girl, or at least it looked like her. She somehow knows my name and warned me about the mother. This house is full of ghosts. And read the last bit. Oh, yeah, this is screwed up. This is definitely going to be a ghost area here. You're gonna tell me you're gonna have all these cloths these cloth things over here and not have a ghost? Kinda of surprised it doesn't let me take a picture and see the ghost at the last second. Like that'd be kinda of neat. What? Why did this look close? Oh crap, it's locked. Oh, oh, it's the game saving. Oh no, the game is saving. This is bad. Oh, this is so bad. Where am I going? We got a book. Can't read the book. I got no time for reading. Reading is for nerds. I'm just joking. I love reading. What am I talking about? Oh! Oh! Oh, God. You are terrifying looking. Go hide. Hide. Get in there. Oh, my God. Mommy needs... Needs to calm the hell down. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, 
she's just she's just patrolling now I hear her this okay danger a tall terrifying woman chased me no doubt she wanted to kill me apparently it was the mother a little girl warned me about i have to be more careful if i want to stay alive i think that's what i said the game is like really quick on those notes there to be honest okay so we're back okay we're on this other side now yeah we're gonna go the way that she that the mommy just went that's oh that's great i remember this lamp it contains a secret it does Okay, I mean, try to figure it out. Okay, press. Am I trying to, like, line something up? I feel like I want to try to line something up. Because otherwise, it just does this. And then, in terms of things that don't match... Maybe I want to do something. Oh, maybe you know. Maybe I want to do something with this. Uh, the walls. Oh, that's not what I want to do. T for torch, because that's kind of weird. I think that I might want to try to line, line it up with something. Maybe. Why do I keep doing that? I need to stop doing that. Maybe. I don't. I, I'm kind of. See, I'm trying to like look on the walls for any like burn in or any kind of marks that would explain or show where to put the thing at. Doesn't seem like it though. So maybe I have to just match up a star or something. Like have a star that is completely see through or something like that. This is interesting. I just wish it. Figure out what it actually wants to be. Oh, there you go. That's pretty close. Dead center. Maybe? No. Alright, I'm sure we'll find something that actually tells us what the hell we're supposed to do later on. Instead of wasting time playing with that. Let's go check out the toilet. Nope, nothing there. I care about. Oh. Well, how about that? Something spooky gonna happen in the return? No. Good. Maybe the blocks have no the blocks don't have a code or anything like that to give me any kind of help. I really hope that the mother is more like scripted events and not just S strange sounds coming out of the closet. It sounds like there's something there there's something behind this closet. I need to take a closer look. Okay, or I could just hide in there. Yeah, I was going to say, I definitely heard this, that strange noise. How do I... Okay, there you go. Push it. Oh, okay. We found... She's coming. Uh, closet. Closet right here. Get in there. Oh, she's right there. Okay. Oh my god. That, did she just like jump? She just leapt over something. I think that mommy needs a breath mint, man. She's got she's got some some stank breath. All right, she's gone. She's leaving. Oh, she poofed. Okay. Well, that was interesting. I wasn't expecting a poof. I expected she was more like an actual physical thing. Didn't realize she would be a ghost. Anything there? No. Oh, there's a note here. Let's check this note out. This note says, Dead "Never mind." In the children's room? That's terrible. Let me pull up the diary that I need to find the note that, in particular, that. Okay, so this is by date, actually. There you go. This is the one. September 14th, 1900. Dear Diary, I don't understand what is happening in this house. I don't trust anyone. Last night I woke up and went to check on the kids. When I entered the room, I noticed a smell. The same smell that always accompanied Harold when he returned from a hunt. I looked under the bed and found the decapitated remains of animals. There was so much blood and it was mixed with dirt and bits of fur. And that stench. And it was all under the beds of my children. 
I took the kids to my room and ordered the servants to clean the mess. Who could have done something like this? It seems to me that someone's trying to drive me crazy on purpose to take away the only thing I have left, my children. Oh, okay, so that character is definitely the lady who is currently patrolling and trying to hunt me down. Uh, on the downside, there's really no where to progress in here. The only thing that's left is this closet, which I can hide in, but doesn't actually do anything. Oh, uh, what is that up there, actually? Oh, it's just the lamp, a clock or something. Can't do anything with those. All right, we're, we're done here. We just found another diary. That's about all we did with that. So I guess we'll go this way. Because there's, there's that puzzle in there. Now I gotta stop doing that. I need to use the torch. T for torch. That doesn't still doesn't make too much sense, but I guess that's what the game wants to do. Well, this is interesting. Is that me? Yeah, that is me. Okay. Whew. I was like, okay, if Mama's coming around, I'm screwed. The only place I have run is down that hallway there. I hope she's not fast. There's nothing in here. All right. Well, then I will try to figure out that puzzle for the uh, for the things in the next episode. Oh, there's also this door here. Oh, this door's got a symbol. Yay. Oh, never mind. It's locked. So I'm going to check out the puzzle and try to figure out what to do in this in the, or in here in the next episode. I hope you guys all enjoy this series. This is a really neat and actually really cool looking game. I'm really excited for this. Thank you once again for G to GOG for the free copy. And I hope you guys all uh, enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And make sure to subscribe so you get updates from this new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye.